Hi everyone, I want to talk about the high-end foreman meta in season 23. So as many of you have probably seen, we have our meta prediction posts and our tier lists and all these things here on Maxroll. And a lot of people keep asking me, Moody, where are all the Crusaders? You have said that four player push meta is a double Crusader with a Heaven's Fury using the Nova set. So there's the one Crusader here as a trash killer with Panhancer. There's the other one that has a stricken to kill the boss more quickly. And uh, where are all of those? Because I don't see anything on the leaderboards. If you open those here, you'll see a lot of Necromancers. You're gonna see a lot of Wizards. And yes, that is true. So those are also extremely strong builds. Wizard as the Rift Guardian killer. Necromancer with Bone Spear, just like in Season 22, being the trash killer. And it still really works well. Without the fourth cube slot, Necromancer has lost around 8 tiers of damage, but it turns out that Bone Spear is pretty good, and that is not really a surprise to anyone, I believe. So, even if you take a build like Bone Spear Necromancer and go minus 8 tiers worth of damage, you are not gonna be in trouble whatsoever looking at the history from Season 22 and also the solo clears that we have seen for that class back then. Now, the question still remains what's up with those Crusaders here because they are nowhere to be found. And this is for a few different reasons. First and foremost, Crusader meta is much more um, demanding than the Necro Bone Spear meta. And what I mean is that first of all, you need um, better gear, you need better paragons, and you also need better group coordination and execution of the whole thing. While applying the Crispin and the stuns at the right time is quite important for the Necromancers, it's much more important for the Crusaders which don't deal any damage without a stun at the right moment. So you need to have really strong, really good barbs that can coordinate with the rest of the team, can make like really nicely stacked pixel pulls so the Crusaders can blast. On top of that, the Necromancer is very durable by default. You have a lot of toughness, you have the Zomalacrums, you have the Curses, all the stuff that really helps you early on when you don't really have that much damage and that much toughness to survive and to actually clear the rift and keep everyone else in the party as alive as well with the leech curse. At the lower end of things, even the supports tend to have a bit of an issue to stay alive sometimes, and the leech curse from Necromancer makes everyone pretty much invincible, on top of the Decrepify and some other various perks. And the Crusader meta also has the issue that Crusaders are simply not played very much. So we have the Heron's Fury set from Season 19, and it got nerfed like three times now, and it's nothing really new. People are not really playing Crusader very much. There's um, an XP meta that is also quite difficult to execute, that is kind of competitive with rats, but again, this revolves around very precise timing, about very precise group coordination, and it's also much slower. So people don't really go for it compared to rats, which everyone knows it's super easy. You get a lot of gear, you get a lot of augments, and these things do play a big role, especially when you play not too much in a season. When you stop at 1k, 1.5k, 2k Paragon or something along those lines, you want to get loot fast, you want to get gems fast, and you also usually don't really have the team to play the Crusader meta with, because this one really requires you to coordinate and uh, learn things together as a team. Well, with the Bone Spear, not too much can go wrong when the timing is a bit off or when the barb is not as good and all those kind of things. Now the thing is that this Crusader meta is not particularly much stronger than the Bone Spear meta. As you can see here from the Season 23 records, we're already at sub 6 minutes for the rank 1 clears in 4 man, uh, which is probably going to go down to, I'd say, at least below 5, maybe 4.5, something like that. It's probably going to be like the end season times. Right now we are pretty much exactly at mid-season or maybe slightly after if we stick to the 3 month cycle. So there is still 5-6 weeks of pushing left for people and even some Paragon farming. So we're definitely going to see some insane times for the rank 1 clears and depends on who's dedicated enough to actually invest like 5000 plus keys in Foreman. But uh, that will probably happen. Now with these things being said, if you take a look at a non-season meta, you will see pretty much exactly what uh, we have predicted before the patch went live with the Maxwell team. So here you will see Crusaders everywhere. You see there's the double Crusader setup, here's the double Crusader setup, here's the double Crusader setup. Everywhere you see all these high paragon, high end teams from non-season, they're all running Crusaders. 
and it's not particularly much stronger than a bone spear but it tends to work a bit more consistently and again it also tends to work a bit better when you have uh, a stronger group and you have more paragons and you have better gear all of which is not really the biggest deal on non-season because people don't really grind gear on non-season they don't really grind paragons they have paragons and they have gear so they just go in there and maybe craft a, you know, a few pieces and that's it and then they just blast 150s all day because this is what you farm there you don't care much about how fast you acquire the gear you don't care much about this like early season grind where red runs are extremely good and uh, these kind of things so this is exactly what happens to be what everyone is playing here there are some variations so you don't have to go for double crusader there is also wizard rgk it's just like with the bone spear necro that i've actually been playing we've been playing crusader plus wizard because i have mostly been doing all my high grs with Norfar, who is maining crusader this season and i was playing the firebird rgk wizard and he is like three and a half k paragon and at that point he can survive pretty well even without a second crusader to give him the law to give him more toughness and obviously the higher you go the more consistent this whole thing becomes and also the more consistently you can clear the bad maps that you encounter when you are just farming 150s like most people do on non-season here on the leaderboards we only see the record times of the fastest clears that people really tried hard to push and while the requirements to get a rank 1 clear are pretty similar for the necro meta versus the crusader meta the consistency of the crusaders is much higher because you don't have this super insane density scaling with the bone spear blood and marrow effect where the bone spears deal more damage the more targets you have in the pool and the crusader obviously also deals more damage with more targets but this applies to both builds the same with area damage anyway you also have the pain enhancer there but this is nowhere near the same scaling that the necromancer has and as a crusader meta you can just more reliably actually finish elites while with the necromancer very often you might run into the issue that you just don't have any more trash to actually deal any damage to the elites so this means that when you're just plugging keys and not you know going new game and you have a bad map or anything just blast for every single map that you find you're gonna be better off with the crusader meta and this is exactly why we see all these crusaders here on non-season now there's one other curiosity here and this is the barb setup so if you look at this here you see first of all there are two two-handed weapons equipped with executioner and messerschmitt because without the necromancer you need the executioner on someone because there's no frailty curse and you still want the messerschmitt for the increased cooldown reduction but this is mostly a pushing thing so when you do these fast runs you know this is almost a speed run here with four minute clears five minute clears it kind of makes sense to include messerschmitt instead of relying on the obsidian ring only to give you the cooldown reduction procs and you might also be wondering what's up with the might of the earth set here they run two piece might of the earth and no three piece raker or four piece raker with ring of fire grandeur so first of all you get another ring because you don't need the ring of fire grandeur and second of all you get the cooldown reduction effect that is extremely useful for the crusader meta here so when you go for some rank one push with a four or five minute time you will have a map where you probably have one floor festering woods or something and you don't really have to go very far you don't need to charge around multiple screens trying to pull stuff everywhere because you can just make rather small pulls stomp stuff together the crusaders will blast annihilate everything and you move on and you don't really have to stand there and you know get like 100 monsters gather them all up and then stomp them all together and the advantage here is also that you can double stomp so when you stomp and you move targets you will already apply 40% crowd control resistance just from the knockback effect which means that the base duration of the ground stomp is reduced to 2.4 seconds instead of 4 seconds but the crusaders have a 4 second coe cycle so in order to continuously stun enemies you have to double ground stomp by using the earth set stomping spending a little bit of resources and then stomping again so that you have the full 4 second holy cycle from the crusaders that just blast down everything now with metal smith's viva this is not the biggest deal during the rift but you still want to kill the rift guardian fast too and this is also where the set comes in handy so this is a very uh, particular setup mostly built around pushing with the crusaders and for the most part you're going to be fine with the raker set when you play the support barbarian but this is also just something i wanted to clarify here and that's about it for my explanation of why we see the things that we see on the leaderboards right now so whenever we make these meta posts in the tier lists 
we typically look at kind of like the high-end performance of things because we want to show you the best available option which is kind of like the definition of meta we do our best to provide all the info there is so to explain that you know there are these alternatives with the wizard with the necromancer but uh, the ultimate goal essentially would be the crusader meta so to say and this is also why you see it here so in the end our prediction turned out exactly right i'm quite curious to see if people are actually gonna go for it on season because well people also have to gear the, ne the crusaders and well everyone has pretty much full primal perfect best in slot gear on their necromancers from doing like 2000 red runs or whatever so obviously gearing a crusader from scratch will be a huge xp loss for people that you know grind rats all day because they have to invest thousands of bounty materials they have to invest thousands of runs into crusaders suddenly and also learn a meta so we'll see if people actually go for it i would imagine that there will be some crusaders popping up later in the season but yeah obviously the meta might be slightly different from season and non-season even when there is no seasonal theme so always something to be excited about always something to be aware about as well when you look at these things there are some tiny differences that lead to a completely different picture when you look at the leaderboards so this is what i wanted to share here hope you enjoyed my thoughts and see you guys next time